Counter Strike is one of the world's most popular first person shooter games, but it can sometimes cause performance issues. My name is Adullah, you're watching Candido Technology, and in this video, we're talking about how you can reduce lag in Counter Strike 2. Well, the first thing that we're going to do is to change a few Steam settings. So, uh, before we do that, head over and launch Steam. Now, once Steam opens up, head over to the top left, click on Steam, and then click on Settings. In here, head over to the Interface section. And now, we are going to disable some settings. So, we are going to disable Enable Smooth Scrolling. We're going to disable GPU Accelerated Rendering in Web Views and we're going to disable hardware video decoding now do keep in mind that when you make these changes it will make steam a bit of a pain to use but it will free up additional resources uh, if you have a pc that's right on the edge of what is minimum recommendations for running cs2 so if you have a good enough pc you don't really need to do these things the next thing to do is in the broadcast section so uh, then here make sure that you're not broadcasting then we are going to the remote play section and in here just make sure that remote play is disabled unless you're using it which uh, you know isn't really helpful when you're playing cs can't really play cs very well from a mobile screen trust me i've tried so go ahead and disable remote play right here and uh, just as a precaution before we proceed uh, you can come to the download section and clear up your download cache uh, just in case we need to go ahead and recompile any files for counter strike 2 just so that we don't get any corrupt files from the cache moved into the game another thing to take care of uh, in the library section is to make sure that you enable low bandwidth mode low performance mode and uh, disable community content now this might not make sense but community content does not really adhere to the game's uh, restrictions and can be taxing on your system so if you're really really on the edge of what you can do in cs2 and you're really struggling for performance um, go ahead and disable community content as well additionally uh, low bandwidth mode and low performance mode will help you run steam better which means steam will take up less system resources and uh, cs2 will be able to stretch its legs a little the next thing to try out is to head over to your library find counter strike in here right click and then click on properties now in here uh, as you can see i have two launch options but what we are going to do is get rid of these or you can have it uh, any other way but what i'm going to do is use the threads option and now i'm going to add the number of threads that i have plus one so how do you find your number of threads uh, that's easy right click your start menu and then click on task manager once the task manager opens up head over to performance click on cpu and uh, here we go so you can check the number of uh, threads or cores here alternatively what you can do is that you can just google the name of your cpu and find out how many threads are there in it once you found that number go ahead and add one to it before including it here now you don't have to use all of your cpu's threads uh, for the game i can just uh, use eight threads uh, which combined with one would be nine so threads nine and uh, this should give you a boost when it comes to in-game performance Uh, moving on, there are some Windows features that you can disable to get better performance in games. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, search for uh, enable Windows features or turn Windows features on and off. This one right here. Wait for this to load up. Now in this list, we are going to find a virtual machine platform. This one. Uncheck it and then we're going to find hyper-v which is uh, not in my list because i'm using windows 10 home if you're using windows oh windows 11 home if you're using windows 11 pro you will also see a hyper-v option here so make sure that you uncheck both the virtual machine platform and the hyper-v option or the windows hypervisor platform it's gonna appear something like that make sure you uncheck these and then go ahead and click ok 
if you're running virtual machines on your system then do not make this change because this will uh, cause problems and virtual machines won't run as well Once you're done with that as well, the next thing to check is if your PC is running the best possible power plan. Now, uh, how do we check this? Just press the start menu and search for power plan. And then click on choose a power plan. Now here, as you can see, I only have uh, one power plan, which is balanced. And that's because on my particular laptop, power is managed via a system software called the Omen Gaming Hub. Now, depending on whether you have an LG, uh, an MSI, an ASUS or whatever laptop, you're going to have a particular app that you can use to manage power modes. So if I go ahead and open o Omen Gaming Hub and give it a second to load up, if I head over to my laptop and then to performance control, you can see that I'm running on the highest performance mode possible. Now, uh, I can run on balanced or eco modes as well, but if I want the maximum performance out of my system, it's right there in the performance mode. Moving on, uh, another thing that you can try is to check Windows graphics settings. How do we do that? Well, uh, press Windows key plus I open up windows settings and in here we're just going to search for graphic settings it's right there all right so the first thing we're going to do now is find our game in this list so as you can see uh all, pretty much all of my games are right here already and here is cs2 go ahead and extend it now uh you have the gpu preference and optimizations for windowed games what i'm going to do is uh Le uh, as you can see on automatic setting it automatically picks up my uh, GTX 4060 but if it's set to power saving or any other uh, GPU by any chance you can come here and manually set it to the high performance GPU alright uh, and then just disable optimization for windowed games when not running CS2 windowed uh, once you're done with this scroll back up and then click on advanced graphics settings here you will see hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and variable refresh rate. Turn both of them off. Uh, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling can sometimes uh, be helpful, uh, but you need a PC that can take advantage of the particular feature uh, and not just get overrun by the game. So once again, if you're on really low end hardware, go ahead and toggle this setting off. And uh, that is pretty much it for Windows settings. One last piece of advice is to update your GPU drivers and check your GPU driver settings. Now, whether you have an NVIDIA, Intel or AMD GPU, this can vary. I have an NVIDIA GPU, so I'm just going to launch up the NVIDIA app. Oh no, I launched the NVIDIA control panel by mistake. So let's go ahead and launch the NVIDIA app. We can turn this control panel. You can use the control panel as well, but it's just obsolete and doesn't look as well. So if you have the NVIDIA app, you're good to go. First thing to do, head over to the drivers and then check to make sure if you have the latest driver installed. You can just click on this button to check for updates. If there are any updates, they'll show up. Make sure that you're using the game ready driver and not the studio driver as, as the name suggests, game ready driver gives you the best performance. All right, now we come to graphics. In here, we are going to find our game. Once again, Counter-Strike 2 is right here. And now, as you can see, uh, all of the game settings are right here and I can adjust them. Um, but we're more interested in the driver settings. So come down here, make sure that the CUDA GPU is selected to your GPU. And then uh, low latency mode, you can turn it on and off. Image scaling, once again, you can play around with this setting. Make sure that the maximum frame rate is set to whatever the maximum frame rate of your monitor is. I have a 144Hz monitor, so I can keep this number to 144. Um, but as you can see, the global setting is 60fps, which is something we don't want because then this caps your game to 60fps, no matter how much performance your system has. So limit the frame rate to 144 and uh, VSync just leave that one off. If you want, you can also come to the global settings and change it right here for everything else. Now what we've left with are a few in-game tweaks. So let's go ahead and fire up CS2. 
all right so once you're inside counter strike uh, the first thing we are going to do is head over to settings and then to video then to advanced video all right now uh disable vsync uh, if you have uh, a good cpu and gpu combination you can uh, enable nvidia reflex low latency make sure that the maximum fps in game and in menu is set to a reasonable number for example i can just set it to 144 for both the values and we should be good to go um, then comes your video values preset so as you can see uh, on my system most of these values are pretty high but if you're facing lags and stutters just drop them to the lowest um, value that you can um, additionally uh, if you head over to video here make sure that you run this on full screen mode and not full screen windowed and then in here this will unlock your refresh rate option so also make sure that this is set to 144 hertz or whatever your monitor's maximum refresh rate is as a last hail mary effort you can try and uh, fall back on the resolution but that will negatively affect your game's visual uh, visual quality essentially and can make the game look stretched or uh, just not very good when you're playing it and uh, that's that if you've made all of these changes cs2 should be running much better for you now if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video